Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. Uh, Throne of Eldraine is here. We're in day two of the new standard and uh, here with another budget deck. So we played uh, Blue Red Is It Improbable Alliance uh, budget deck the other day. Played a couple other brews on launch day. All those videos are up on my YouTube channel. Uh, so this is a green white deck, so Selesnia, and it's built around the mechanic adventure and kind of getting some advantage with some of the common, like, uh, value engine spells within the deck. Uh, so this particular deck, it is budget in the sense of arena that it only costs eight rares, four of which are the temple gardens, and four lovestruck beasts are the other rares. This is one of the better green adventure cards. Um, the play so we crafted these for this deck and we'll play them out <clears throat> um, So the, de the idea of the deck is you're playing cards with the adventure mechanic So in the example of love struck beast that we highlighted um, So for how adventure works is you can cast the sorcery component so hearts desire in this case um, Anytime as you cast a sorcery uh, if the, it resolves the card goes into exile and you can cast the creature component um as basically free card advantage. It's almost like two spells in one. So in this case here, Love Struck Beast, uh, the first half you cast for one mana, you create a 1-1 one, one white human, and then for three mana you get a 5-5 five, five that can't attack unless you control a 1-1. One, one. Um, so the two cards we're trying to take advantage of playing all these adventure cards in the deck are Edgewall and Keeper. So whenever we cast a creature with adventure, we draw a card. And then Lucky Clover, basically whenever you cast an adventure spell, you copy it and you choose new copies for the target. Uh, we have Fairy Guide Mother, which is a 1 mana 1-1 one, one, uh, with the sorcery ability to give a creature plus 2-1 in flying. So for Love Struck Beast, this could give it evasion. Um, you can also double up on it. Mysterious Pathlighter, although it doesn't have adventure, rewards us for playing adventure cards. So each of our subsequent creatures comes in with... 1-1 uh, one, one counter on it that has adventure. Uh, Arden Veil Tactician is a way for us to get blockers out of the way and then it's a 3 mana 2-3 flyer um, that could come in with like say Mysterious a 3-4 flyer for 3 with added upside of the ability. It's pretty good. Love Struck Beast as I mentioned. I have a couple of uh, Zhang Yanggu. Uh, because it's a budget version uh, this is just a way to make our creatures bigger. It can also help us ramp into some bigger spells later on. Uh, two Conclave Tribunals as Catch-All Removal, uh, a couple Flower Flourish, um, so this allows us to get lands early, fix our mana, and then late game you get the Anthem effect with all our creatures, we can kind of overrun our opponent. Uh, and then Beanstalker Giants, another way we can close up the game fairly quickly, uh, it's a Rampant Growth ability, and then uh, basically its power toughness are equal to the number of lands you control. So with something like the Fairy Guide Mother, you can have like a 7-7 seven, seven that becomes a 9-9 nine, nine flying and you could close out the game there. Um, the rest of the mana base is going to be some plains, some forest, Blossoming Sands because there's no scry land, and Temple of Guardi uh, Garden. I actually just want to check really quick uh, what do these do. Fit Hunter's Battlefield on tap, put a 1-1 one, one counter. So there's a new set of these lands create a food token. So the castles are very good. These are a little less efficient. Um, so if you're playing non-budget, some fabled passages would be good. Uh, sideboard wise, uh, so this is just some cards that I think could be useful in the deck. Um, obviously with the consideration we are budget. Uh, Veil of Summer versus black base removal. Devote Decree versus any black or red removal. Glass Casket uh, for smaller creatures. Think of uh, just like exile anything cheap. Uh, Prison Realm versus Creatures or Planeswalkers, something like Oko, getting rid of that. Thrashing Brontodon versus any sort of artifact based deck, or even Aggro just as a big body. And Join Shields is for like board wipe decks to protect our creatures. So we'll try this out, it is a budget deck. Um, I'm probably going to do a couple more budget decks early on and then we'll get to all the constructed decks. Um, usually earlier in the season when people are still getting cards, budget decks usually have a bit more utility. Uh, later in the season, people usually have crafted a bunch of cards, so uh, they're a little bit more inclined. This will also give us a chance for the meta to settle. Um, so if you do have any preference, someone requested uh, Demir Control. Uh, if there's any other type of budget decks you'd like to see, color, archetype, stuff like that, let me know, and we can go from there. 
Um, so I can play ranked it's towards the end of the season. We're at diamond. I don't really care about my ranked. So let's see how good this deck actually is. Um, it's probably going to be more fun of than competitive, but I'll be pleasantly surprised. And uh, as we get started, a uh, quick note with release weekend around the corner. If you are purchasing physical cards and you do purchase through TCG Player, I do have an affiliate link in the video description on YouTube down below. If you click that link, do your purchase as normal. Let them know that I sent you there and help support the channel. Uh, if you aren't buying physical cards and want to help out the channel, as always, uh, either subscribing on YouTube or uh, follow on Twitch are both ways to help out. Um, if you're inclined, I do have options on Twitch to sub, but the indirect free ways are the ways I think are best. You don't have to spend anything and it helps out the channel. Uh, so this hand's pretty aggressive. We're just going to go Love Struck Beast into double Love Struck Beast and then go from there. And just having a consistent 5-5 five, five into 5-5 five, five into 5-5 five, five. seems pretty good. You can also Flower Flourish to thin out our deck, but I think doing the Anthem effect with this might just be more effective. See a mountain here, we'll see what we're up against. Can this block without? Can attack. So this is where we get like the free value. So we don't have a lucky clover, otherwise this would have doubled. I'm cool offering the trade here. They're not gonna take it. Sorry, just give me a sec, I'll close my window for the dog. It's advantageous for us to trade with Scorch Splitter. And historically against mono red, you wouldn't want to commit, but without Goblin Chain Whirler, it's better to have a board now of 1-1 dorks. So far this set's been really fun. I've liked uh, Blue Green Flash, we played that quite a bit. The mono black Ayara, like Aristocrats, Witches Oven, Cauldron Familiar kind of combo synergy deck has felt really good. Another Scorch Spitter. Um, I think I might want to recast a creature that has an adventure spell. Okay, I think we go Love Struck Beast. It's just more value. And then uh, they can block one. If they want to trade with Scorch Splitter, then I'm fine with that. This is a 1-1 one, one anyways, because next turn I can play the Innkeeper, play a Love Struck Beast, draw a card. So this is kind of a ping burn style deck. Uh, we can we have Lucky Clover afterwards, so if we draw to some more adventure. So we get a card draw here. It's actually been working out pretty nice. Okay, got another lion. So we're getting close to this overrun effect. Just attack with a 5-5. Five, five. Hey Quantum, it's going well. Excited to come back, play some games. Have you played any of the new standard? I'm trying to like poke everyone's brain what they're playing. I've been like watching just a lot of other streamers, replays, stuff like that. So they're trying to burn us. So we have Beanstalk Giant. So actually... Yeah, okay, opponent just concedes. I was gonna just do this, get double draw, but Love Struck Beast is probably the right play. Uh, so in this match, Devote Decrees, basically catch all removal, Glass Casket, Prison Realm. Uh, they'll probably bring in some enchantments. Um, going out, the Conclave seems bad, the Flower Flourish seems bad. What did you play in the free events? Uh, so we're getting rid of these, they're a little slow. Very Guide Mother. It's okay. Maybe cut down, uh, Zhang Zhu doesn't seem that good. 
Love Struck Beast was good. Going over the top of Flyers seems good. Beanstalk's probably too slow, so we'll cut them down, just lower our curve. We're just going to be playing kind of like a control. <laughs> so basically, both sideboard, I just turn my decks as much as possible into control decks. Have you played with Oko a lot? I haven't. I've got the one I had, but I've yet to actually play with the card. I've lost to the card. I'm gonna make an Oko to Fairy deck. They're slowly crafting all the three mana no fun planeswalkers, so we can just do tribal no fun. Uh, so I'm gonna keep this hand. Um. I think we keep this. I still think on one we do Love Struck Beast to get the token. I think we just get a lot of utility. The fairy can double up on the Love Struck Beast after and just give it flying. Like you said, I think it was you the other day. Oko is going to become the new Thought Erasure. Always have it. Oh, that's pretty, pretty gross. I get the exile, no blocks. Okay, so there's the innkeeper, which I imagine we just play innkeeper and get the card draw. It's probably better that way. You know, attacks. So we're a little weaker if they have like shock or something. Yeah, this is good value. Especially they mulled, I think. Oh. So they got a 2 3. The flying's gonna be super relevant here. So we got the vote decree. I think we do love struck this turn. If they want to attack with the robber, they're gonna have it be killed this turn. They can poke in with this. I'm gonna devote decree that and set up the fairy clover. So that way we can get double triggers. They ping us here. <coughs> This does kind of get dangerous in matchups where you're racing. So we're trying to turn on Spectacle. This can be like a Skewer the Critics, Light up the Stage, Bone Crusher Giant. So they probably go on Edgewalkers, my guess. It is quite a bit of value for us. Deck's been pretty synergistic so far. Okay, they poke in in the air. Interesting. So they don't do that. This sorcery speed. Uh, that's probably really good for us. Because we can play out a lot of our hand next turn. The free attack. They're gonna probably burn the edge walker. It's a sorcery speed. Just getting used to like uh, the sequencing of all these cards when they come in. It takes six here. So it evens out the race. So that's nine damage in the air next turn. So you might be able to sneak it out depending on how they decide to block. I'm gonna go face. It does seem pretty aggressive. Just play this out.
So whenever you cast a spell, a creature spell that has adventure. So I think we just attack, see what they do. I want to save this, where are you? I want to save that as an upside play. I need the flyer in to block this. Um, I think we just do this. Make this a 2-2, two -two, draw a card. Let's play it like... Oh, I could draw two cards. So we refill our hand. I can double block on this. Brontodon is also a nice body. Prison Realm can get rid of like the Bone Crusher or anything big. They do have the possibility. They have three cards in hand. They could just burn us out. Three damage, ping ping. Oh, they didn't ping us. Do they just have the burn? Yeah. Okay, I've got to burn that game. Um, I think we just run it back. So. They could have just pinged us. Yeah, we... Mono Red's going to be there a bit. It's a cheap deck to build for the most part. I'd rather play against this version of Mono Red than Cavalcade, because this one you can interact a lot easier. Um, there's too many turns that we just didn't deal with their board. Like, we could have played the double up on the Give It Flying, but it was only 9 damage, they were at 11. I uh, would have turned them off being able to ping, but it seemed like they had the 6 points of burn in hand anyways. Uh, this hand doesn't really do anything. For our plan, like we can go this into this into Pathfinder, but we don't have any explore. Could just be going over the top though. No, I think we know. Okay, I'll keep this end. Gonna put away a forced. We need an answer if they have uh, that dude again, the robber of riches. Expansion so far has been sweet. It seems like there's a lot more like varied archetypes as opposed to just sometimes you'll just get, hey, build whatever. This is good because I could beanstalk next turn and get two lines into play. Um, like there's sometimes like pre-built decks, like this is the best deck. I also started hating playing against Kethis. So I'm gonna beanstalk here. They can take a turn to power this up. So I'm just going to get two planes here. Oh, I could do that too. So that comes into play untapped. That is good to know. And we will definitely keep a love struck beast. Got this, like, I'm, miser I, I'm sad because Golos Field's gone. I love that deck. Um, so they can deal with this. So this could come in. Um, <clears throat> mana wise, what's the most efficient? Like it's us playing this and this. Because they have three mana, so they have to spend two cards to kill the Thrashing Brontodon. So I'd rather them do that just pass the turn because they have they have this that they have to cast for the instant so they'll probably want to take thrashing brontodon out of the way yeah this is pretty innocuous at first but i've actually liked it quite a bit so we want them to get rid of their burn here 
so I can drop the Questing Beast, because Questing Beast can't attack unless it has the 1-1. One, one. And this starts getting pretty big too, like Beanstalk in a couple turns will be good. Okay, so we get two 1-1s one from this. And then I'm going to drop the Path Lighter, because then my Love Struck Beast gets bigger when it comes in. And then it can deal with these Bone Crusher Giants. Also, the flying is relevant here because we can go over the top. These will take up the ground, and then this these will block well on the ground. They might have a shock here. We're going face. Deals four damage instead. Okay, so it's actually pretty good because we got the Edge Walker. So this draws us a card, hopefully finds us a land. The Prison Realm's good for those creatures. So they're kind of priced into paying these. Our hand's actually smaller than theirs right now because they've been doing a bunch of light at the stage. I think this deck would want something like the Selesnia Johnny just to make all our things bigger. They might opt to not play Robber and just play Bone Crusher Giant. Which will take two damage, but to get it off the board is probably a fair trade. They go face. Okay, they're going straight burn. Okay. So we're at five mana here. I'm gonna do this. Uh, that gets us the six mana. Kinda want something more impactful, to be honest. They got these Bone Crushers and that's it. We have Lethal on them next turn. They need exactly Slaying Fire. Are they slow rolling us? Come on opponent. Show me what you got. We got a mono red player rope in. One and zero with the deck. Thanks for those tuning in. Uh, if you just joined, we are playing. Oh, got a bunch of free stuff. Uh, we are playing a budget green white adventure deck. Uh, eight rares for the full deck. Four of which are temple gardens. Four love struck beasts. Sick. That was a good crack. And we're getting closer to more mythics. My wild card reserve is pretty low on mythics right now. Uh, I bought a lot of Braz and Boros. Um, so we'll play this. We just bet mono red 2 1 uh, in a best of three. We'll run it through another match, see how it is. I'll be putting out a bunch of budget decks hopefully in the next few days. Uh, the next one up will be a form of demure control, someone requested. Uh, if there's any other type of budget archetypes, colors, pairs, anything you'd like, uh, drop a line, uh, like a comment in the video description or in chat. Take a look. Um, I think we keep this. I'm going to go Love Struck's Adventure first. And then I'll drop the Blossoming Sands, probably set up a Mysterious Pathfinder. Okay. So I'm actually glad we got Love Struck out of our hand. They'll take one of these probably, because it's card advantage. 
I will be getting to budget build series as well. Once we have an idea what the meta is, what I like to do is find meta decks and then build some variation of them in like cheaper versions and then build towards the meta deck, but still pretty early. I think pretty safe to say Oko is a safe bet, some number of Brazen Borrowers. Uh, Questing Beast was pretty good. Okay, so. If they're spending one mana removal to get rid of my... Uh, so this sets us up for... But if they had Cry Carnarium, they likely play it. So let's just go like this. I'd rather get multiple one mana one, like one, yeah, sorry, one ones. Okay, so this is Grixis Fire of Invention. So they can drop like Nico Bolas this turn. Nico the Devil. So they are running out of cards, which is good for us. So I could set up the Lucky Clover, but we don't really have anything to do. Actually, Flower's free right now. Let's get another forest. Go Lovestruck. So this is probably the version that plays like Drawn Into Dreams to get a bunch of cards. So they could go Nico Bolas. They can't go Chandra this turn, but they got Bolas. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. Um, just gonna get rid of the land here. Let's see if they have another removal spell. I feel like you should. Okay. Enter the God Eternals. So we can kill Bolas here, which is nice. We get the copy, but we just need to tap the one. So take out Bolus, take out that. Another time, Planeswalker. So opponent's kind of running out of cards here. As long as we can dodge like Drawn. Okay, it's actually kind of crappy. So we're gonna have to do the one one. They attack in. Show me a 1-1. One, one. Clover me is not going to do much. This is actually a deck I've wanted to play. This is Mogwai's deck. You basically play like 4 Nicol Bolas, 4 Narsa, 4 Drawn Into Dreams, 4 of these fires, a couple Chandras, a couple Lilianas, and you just play... Interesting, they go emblem. Oh, that's perfect. So we get this. And then we just cast this. Tap it. And then we can deal a good chunk to it. Yeah, no, it's pretty sweet. Check out Mogwai's video if you haven't. He had it as part of the early streamer event. I don't know if he tweaked it anymore, but... It seemed like a solid deck. So we need to hit Chandra down enough that she can't really do her uh, sweep effect. Is it just me? Or is it getting a little warm in here? Ah, uh, Egan's annoying. I am ancient. So my guess is they take rid of Love Struck Beast. Oh, they don't. Lies beyond vision. Oh, that's good. That is good. Uh so mana wise we go clover. Fairy Godmother, so target you, 
Two copies. Copy. Copy. And so that's seven, nine, twelve, fifteen. So we're three off. So can't quite kill the opponent. Oh no, Love Struck can't attack now. Oops. So that was a mistake. Yeah, learning the deck. It's fine. It did what it needed to do. It got. Sorry about that. Arena crashed. So we got the Pathfinder here. We got Love Struck Beast. Um, so here we probably just set this up. Get some more creatures. And attack in with the two of them. So I'm going to get rid of the zombie. I don't want to give him any card advantage. We have another love struck that we can follow up with and it gets bigger. Arena has been a little uh, choppy. So Narset will allow him to draw. So drawn in for dreams is actually really good. Get some two answers for the following turn. to set up the scry. Can only deal six next turn, so we're a little behind. Ooh, do we have a way? So that's two, four, six. And then three of these, 12, I think we got it. Attack with everything. Too short, too short. See, we got we're dead to Chandra. <clears throat> they set up the scry. Sorry about those in chat. Uh, flame sweep sucks. Mainboarding flame sweep as well. Still need another removal spell. Yeah, they got Nicol Bolas. Probably dead. Meditate and prepare. here. So this matchup, Devote Decree's good, Prison Realm's good, and probably, I think we get rid of, like Fire Inventions we need to get rid of, Veil of Summer, a little too situational, so Flower can go away. Beanstalker Giants can go away. Um, yeah, I can bring the Brontodons. Veil's actually probably not terrible. Uh, this was really good. Um, the Pathlight seemed a little lackluster in this matchup. I want basically as much removal as we can for their Planeswalkers. If we can get rid of their win cons, then there's not much they can do. 
to actually uh, take it from us. Um, yeah, I'll probably keep this hand. Pretty inclined with Love Struck Beast to keep the hands I get. Yeah, it definitely helps like the bad matchups. So one thing to note is we can't pump uh, with Yang Lu on. Uh, we can go cry Carnarium, Flame Sweep if they have it. I think we just need to be the aggressor in this matchup. I'm gonna kind of go in on the fairy. Okay, so they got Clover here. So they can have removal. I think we just get this going. It's also ramp, so it lets us. I will help you through this. So here they have to decide between the one power and the two, but if they have Cry Carnarium, it wipes it anyways. Tonebound Lich. So we can tap two here. A little awkward with Clover, or with this tap line, because we can't do that and Clover. So let's just get this out of the way. So we could have tapped it for mana, but I like getting in the damage. They can take out Zhang Zhanggu. Okay, so they have fires. This, unfortunately, they're going to win this one. With drawn in for dreams here, they're just gonna get their best planeswalkers and then take us out. Oh, that's good. Let's attack, see how they block. So we didn't do Zhang Zhenggu because this had death touch. And I want to keep this as one power. Like they can actually they're short of black from Nico Bolas. Yeah, e. Gonna keep the line here. Set up the clover. So we want to just get rid of their threats. Obviously, Chandra and Ecobol is coming down, but this starts putting pressure on us. Narset's fine. So I'm going to get the Ardendale Tactician going. Lovestruck Beast can't attack right now. If they have removal. My strength. So the soul creature against an Angrath's rampage is pretty rough. Noxious grasp. May have made sense to wait the turn. Keep an open mind. Yeah, 
verprügeln. Na stand. I'm just gonna stop the stream for a sec and reset and I'll come right back because arena is really glitchy. I just want to exit the client. Um, so I'm just gonna end it really quick, cut it, and then I'll be right back. So give me two minutes. All right, so we're here with their green white adventure deck. Just had to split the videos because arena was acting up a bit. Um, so it's pretty much the deck, uh, budget, eight rares, um, so we'll play a game where one and one we bet mono red but lost two Grixis Fire of Inventions. Uh, so we'll play one more here. See how it goes. Makes it a little easier from uh, combining after. So we'll see how it comes out. For a budget deck, it didn't feel too bad. Uh, hands with Innkeeper obviously feel better. Uh, I think we keep this. I want to see what they're playing color-wise. Let's hopefully dodge a shock. It's like This card's felt the worst, I think, in the deck so far. Uh, I need a double white. So I'll probably end up dropping the path uh, lighter. It just makes all our other adventures. They save Blossom and Sand, so this is likely some sort of band ram. Ooh, Abzan budget. Oh, Abzan hero. Okay, well, I think it's important that we get rid of this. It's going to get him quite a bit of card advantage. And then what I ideally want is to draw land so I can get the Love Struck Beast going. There you go, cat this. Okay, perfect. So create a creature, cast Love Struck Beast, another land, so no attacks here. Um, you're probably just playing a lot of legendary spells, so it's free value out of your graveyard. It's also a 3 mana 3-4 three, that makes your Planeswalkers cost less, so here they drop Tristani for 4 mana, and that comes up our board pretty well. Um, so here, let's tap Kethis and one of these, attack for five. We're going to try to go over the top. Oh, they have the Great Henge. Yeah, we lost this one. I can't tell if there's a purpose for these or they're just using them because they don't have the, the mana base. Um, a little annoying because we could have like double tapped there. Um, I think we just set up another one of these. Set up Clover, hopefully get the... The one that gives our things flying. And we just get to get the combo kill. Poking for two. They just gain two life every turn, so our attack's kind of useless. This tactician does come in as a 4-3. So like we we popped this early on the hero, but they would have gotten a lot of creatures with Tristani would have made him go wide pretty hard. So like with Kethis, this costs 
even less. You can get it back from the graveyard. This, so this might be Garrick. Yep. This is actually the first game either I've played or played against Garrick. So we'll see how it is. Can kill a creature, might kill Lovestruck Beast. I got to the flyer. Reef Soul seems really bad. Um, so we're just gonna set Pathfinder. We're just on setup turns. There's no profitable attacks in against Garrick, so we're just gonna hold back. Bell Haunt comes down. There is that one that. Jeez. Oh, we got three threes. I gotta play Abzan. I had to, like, with Kethis, with, uh... Okay, well, we get a bunch of lands. Does this do anything for us? I don't know. We just gotta get rid of Garrick. I'll try my luck elsewhere. They gain the two life. So they pretty much recovered all the damage we did to them. The Great Henge is a ridiculous card. All their creatures come in. That'll get rid of Ardendale. Go ahead. I've suffered worse. So we're running out of opportunities to kind of combo. Kill them with a flyer with multiple lucky clovers. So, yeah. We dead. Their board's too big. So something that you'd be playing is like Realm Clerk, the the board wipe one. Uh, so Prison Realm's good. Uh, Devout Decree gets rid of black or red. Gets rid of most of their stuff. Glass cabinet. Probably some. Brontodons. Yeah, but dilutes our deck too much. Uh, get rid of Flower Flourish. I honestly haven't liked it that much in the deck. I'd rather play more adventure creatures. Um, Beanstalk. Could probably cut down some number. They have like a bunch of targeted removal, so. You know, I'm just going to cut this all together and play Join Shields. It's a way for us to protect against like Kai's Wrath or something. Oof. I think we mull again. Okay, sounds better. Put away a Temple Garden. I just don't know how good, like, in general, this deck is. So we'll go in like this. Play the Sands. There, well, we got Clover into Pathfinder. We just need us some, uh, some adventure. We don't have an answer to Hero. Oh, you lose. When you don't have an answer to hero, now any card they play gets some value. This could be Mortify, and then we just scoop it up. Othakaya, equally as disgusting. Probably worse than Mortify. Protects their Planeswalkers. Yeah. I don't really think we recover from this. Alright, so we played a few games with the deck. It has some promise, but I think you need some of the rare wild cards, like the stuff I would play in it. Um, collection wise. 
Like there's some notable upgrades. The Ajani, some castles would be good for floods. Um, so you want giant killers in there. It's a good one mana. Uh, Closeman, what do you, so what's your definition of budget? So for me, uh, under 10 rares considering the lands and I play on arena budget. So uh, I look at wild card cost, not dollar cost. All the content we produce on the channels on arena. Um, so yeah, I would add uh, giant killer. I would add a couple realm clerks uh, just because it is removal as well. Um, this could get bigger, but probably not as good. Um, and then this is what I was saying, uh, this guy here, Shepherd of the Flock, you could bounce your adventure creatures to reset them, that might be some good value. Um, even the knight actually might not be too bad, you get a lot of bodies. Um, and it's kind of an anthem effect, works well with creating 1-1s one -ones for Lovestruck Beast. So there's probably a couple different directions you can take the deck. Um, anyways, I'm going to wrap this up. If you do have any other suggestions for budget decks, feel free to drop a comment on the YouTube videos. And I'll try to be back uh, tomorrow. Thanks for watching for those tuned in and have a great one.